Hi, this is Lee Hopkins, Instructional Technologist for Kernersville Elementary School and Kernersville Middle School. This is Parent Observer Part 2, and in this video, we are going to look at the calendar icon on the left-hand side of, of the dashboard. So, let's get started. Inside of the navigation um, or of your screen, in the navigation, blue navigation bar, you will see the icon calendar. So, select calendar. And now you see a, a large calendar up here and lots and lots of stuff. Don't let that stress you out. First of all, I want to say that this is a big picture. Teachers are not um, going to a calendar and creating their assignments. They are creating them from within Canvas in modules. However, um, if there is a due date assigned to um, an assignment, it is going to show up on the calendar. Okay. Warning, warning. You still want your students to go to um, the modules or to wherever the teacher directs them to access their daily lessons. The calendar is not meant to replace where they go to access their daily lessons. The calendar is just an overview of the assignments, quizzes, um, or possibly events that are taking place. Now, as you can see, there are some different colors on this calendar and the different colors represent the different courses that the student is involved in. Now, on the right-hand side, notice these are all of the calendars that are available. So I'm gonna look at, let's just say that all, your colors look all the same like maybe this blue and this black um, are very similar, you can go to the, I call it the drip, the side of the calendar, and you can change the color. And I'm gonna change this one to a pink and select apply. So now you see that this color did change. So you can change the color. Another thing that you can do is you can turn off calendars. So let's say that you have your student, um, you really want to focus on that math. And so you want to get everything out of the way. You want to see what's happening, when it's happening in the math class. So you can actually turn off the calendars just by, excuse me, just by clicking on the box. So the, when you click on the box, it takes the color off. So it removes it from the main calendar. So I'm removing everything except the math. Okay, so now I can see basically this is what is happening in math class for the um, next couple of weeks. If I want to go ahead and check on my ELA as well, I added that back. Um, I can see that the math and ELA are kind of close in color and I can recolor them if I want to make them a little bit different. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do a green. Okay, so now I can definitely see the difference. You can here. also click on the activity and it will bring up just like a little preview about what it is. Then you can actually, if you want, if, if the student wants to go to it or you want to go to it, you just click on the title and it brings you directly into the assignment. Okay, um, but again, just remember that this is, this does make, it's, it's a big picture calendar. Now, there is a calendar um, for you um, or for your student. So you can actually double click, like if your student has sports or anything like that, they can actually enter in, um, let's just say we have a soccer. Um, I've already put click the date from uh, four, four o'clock p.m.
to 6 o'clock p.m. I can put the location. And actually, this is um, uh, this. I am the parent right now, but I can click submit. And now I've got my own calendar showing here. If I don't want to do that, um, I just click on it and I can click delete. So this may be a good tool for your students in starting to learn how to use a calendar and organize their work and manage their time. The next thing that we're going to look at 